Guys, I'm in the truck. Everything is packed. We are on the way. I'm so hot and so tired. <sighs> hey y'all. I am officially in my apartment. I moved today. I had a lot of help. It went really well. It got overwhelmed to the point that I cried. Um, I know I've said this before. I've probably said this previously. I hope I've said this. But God has just been like amazing in his provision. And the generosity and kindness that I've experienced has been so overwhelming. And it is crazy how things have worked out exactly when I've needed them to be worked out. And normally I'm such a planner and I'm pretty organized. But with this move, it's like I lost my mind and I just like didn't have things planned or organized. Granted, there was like a lot of things at play in terms of why. I had to wait last minute and why things kind of had to get postponed but regardless it has worked out and I just have a really great community and I'm extremely extremely thankful to them Ugh, some things in my eye but anyways I'm officially in my space and uh, one thing I wasn't expecting I thought I was going to have carpet throughout this entire apartment and it's uh, laminate floors, like wood laminate floors. So it looks like hardwood floor, but it's laminate, um, but it's really nice. Like it's, it's really, really nice, meaning that it's very durable and yeah, I have to fill out my checklist and submit that. I am missing a few things. Also, um, I don't think I said this. Oh yeah, I did break a nail. But that is okay. It happens. Because I was moving stuff and grabbing things. and Yeah. But um, I got a couch for free. Like literally i got a couch for free and it's a really nice couch in really great condition it's velvet which is not what i was going for but it's not bad it's it's like kind of velvet but not um yeah it's really really nice the color is like a mustard orange but it's like pale and it's really pretty it's kind of, it kind of looks beige but it's like a mustard orange i think um i need to get a better look in the morning uh because i've been all over the place but yeah i got a couch and i don't think i'm gonna buy a couch because honestly it's in really really good condition and i think the most that i would do would get a couch cover like a cover for it to change the color um, if I really wanted to so I might do that um, just to get like that olive green one but I need to like measure it so things that I still need to buy are measuring tape and uh, eating utensils because I don't have that I literally don't have eating utensils at all so tomorrow morning I'm gonna go grocery shopping pretty early and just grab food because I I don't have any food I have like pantry items but I don't have like any cold um, things <laughs> uh, I don't have anything for lunch or breakfast tomorrow or dinner and so I'm gonna just do a really quick shop good morning I didn't really sleep well <laughs> as in I couldn't fall asleep i went to sleep this morning at like two and it's currently seven o'clock i woke up around 6 45 so i didn't get much sleep and that's okay and my camera's dying 
but I thought I'd quickly show you what my couch looks like because um, the color is I guess it's like a light tan beige I don't know you'll see so this is the couch in all her glory and the color on camera is like pretty accurate to what it looks like in person i am wearing this on my head because i want to and i feel better doing it but i have a shelving unit back there from ikea and i realized on the move that one of the bottom pieces that screws in to level the shelving unit is missing so if you go on ikea and go to their customer services on the right hand side at least on my screen it's that way you can go about ordering small spare parts and you can order things such as screws knobs or hinges at no cost using the self-service tool and yeah those small parts will be delivered to you in approximately seven to ten business days so that is like a fun little perk about ikea that i didn't realize until literally now um when i was missing that part i was like how am i gonna order this how am i gonna get this and yeah found that because i was trying to find it on amazon and then i was like i wonder if ikea would just like sell it because i'm like that would be like such a genius thing to do and they went even further and they were like, you know what? We're gonna offer it for free. Cause sometimes you do miss those pieces when you're like buying um, products from them. There's like a couple times where you might miss like maybe, not a couple times, but there's like one time where I miss like an extra screw or something like that. And I didn't really need it, <laughs> but cause like I somehow like had a similar one. So I was like, I'll just use that. But yeah, that's like a really great idea in case you didn't know. But yeah, I think today I'm going to focus on getting my bathroom sorted and my closet sorted and doing the checklist. drop off some stuff at Target because I I need to make some returns because I keep buying things and then realizing that um, you know it doesn't really fit with the space it doesn't really work with what I need it to do <laughs> or I actually don't even need 
these items. And so I love that, you know, returns are a thing, that I can return items that I've purchased because I'm, I'm realizing that a lot of the stuff that I bought, I'm just like, I actually don't need that or it doesn't fit. And I've measured stuff, but then I'll like buy a runner or something like that. And then I see it in the space and I'm like, ugh, I don't really like it. Like I see it in store, like it, kind of, and then I don't really like it in person. And so, yeah, today is just a day of running errands. The apartment is, you know, still a mess. There's boxes that are like stacked in my living room. There's still a lot more stuff that I need to buy. Uh, the place is just like, um, the place is, very like cold right now and I need to bring some warmth by actually buying some rugs for my living room for my bedroom for sure and you know for other spaces and now that like I've lined a lot of the shelves and things have gone in their temporary homes slash permanent homes it's feeling more like home so I think I'm going to oh this is gonna be a tight squeeze okay thank god uh, <laughs> I think I am going to go to home goods world market and I think that's it I only have two cups from Ikea <laughs> like drinking glasses and they have the same color but I'm really just into this whole mix matched thing mismatch mismatch thing I'm really into this whole mismatched like you know glassware flatware all that stuff so I think that's what I'm gonna do is sorry my little thing is hanging and I try to remove that when I am vlogging my car I uh, don't know why I talked like that. I'm really sorry. That was awful. But anyways, I am. I just finished up at the bank. You know, did it. Did it what I needed to do. Did it what needed to be done. It. <laughs> oh my gosh, that reminds me of this show that I used to watch in the '90s. I look up, up, up. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna. You're probably gonna think I'm crazy because I literally can't think of the name of the show right now but they did like a lot of arts and crafts and they were like teenagers and I really wanted to be like them and it was like 90s and they would like problem solve stuff it was really cool it was really cool and I truly can't think of the name so I spent way too long in world market for someone who just bought one thing <laughs> but the thing is world market is so cute they have everything that you don't need so I'll show you what I got I got this cute little plate with some flowers on it and yeah that's all I got from World Market rewrapping that Oops. And then from Home Goods, I just got contact paper. Not contact paper. Uh, shelf liner. Because it was only like six bucks. Um, and normally at other places, it's ten, ten dollars. So I was like, you know, I'm saving five, four dollars here. Um, not five, four dollars by getting it from Home Goods. So that's those are the only two things. I'm returning a few things. Uh, now and then I'm going to exchange one for a different set. Um, yeah, I got McDonald's. It was a free large fry Friday with a purchase of minimum one dollar. So I got a four count chicken nugget. It is currently like two o'clock and I have not eaten lunch and I'm starving and I was like, I just, I just need something. So although I do have food at home and I shouldn't be spending money, this was only $2.
lot of Whole Foods. <laughs> but crazy thing is, God bless that I went in there because I bought Icelandic chocolate. If you remember the Iceland vlogs, don't mind my, my nail. If you remember the Iceland vlogs, I bought so much of this when I was in Iceland. It's Amnam and it's the coffee and milk one. It was the only one that I got. It's so good. It's white chocolate, but because of how much coffee there's in it, it looks like milk chocolate. It's so good. Got more of the Bubbies, which is like this plant-based mochi, non-dairy oat milk frozen dessert wrapped in sweet mochi. It's really good. I like the chocolate one a lot. They also have mango, but I didn't get it because I, I like the chocolate one more and I was like, you know what? I just need one. I just need one. Good morning. It has been a minute since I've checked in. Uh, last night, <laughs> I got a leak in my apartment. And man, I mean, thankfully it didn't last a long time. But no one came out. Like I called the emergency maintenance and no one came out to come fix it, but it's like in the windowsill. Um, so like water from outside got inside and thankfully like it didn't last long. So I didn't get like a ton and ton of water, but like I called the emergency maintenance line and still haven't heard back. And then I went to check online to see like if that request was submitted and it was. So I don't think it should be happening for a little bit, hopefully. Uh, yeah. So apartment life. I mean, and then a few nights ago I had to kill a spider in my apartment and and it was like a big like it was like white and brown mixed um it kind of looked translucent but it was like a beigey color and um it was the size of a quarter i'm being tested with these spiders but anyways um yeah, that's apartment life. I finally got rid of the boxes, so I'll show you what the place is kind of looking like right now. So yeah, no boxes. <laughs> uh, I have to clean up everything that's on um, my desk right now because I'm not using my desk. But yeah, I'm still kind of like trying to figure out uh, rugs and then I think I'll go into, I'm, I'm also looking for like a dresser as well, but I will message people on Facebook marketplace and it's weird. I feel like I see a lot of like, don't message if it's still avail available, all messages will be ignored. But it's like, sometimes people really don't update when something's sold. So how are you supposed to know? And then also like, when you're just showing a picture of the dresser and not of the drawers, not if it has any railings, um, you're not giving any description on like how big or wide it is. Is it heavier or light? Like you're not responding. How am I supposed to like, you know, buy this? And so I feel like it's just gonna be like a waiting game, honestly. Hello. Um, so quick update. Very quick update. Um, man, this week has been rough. I feel like life this year, this year has just been hard with health stuff, moving, and yeah. But update on the apartment, I have things getting delivered this coming week so i should be able to show an update on what the place is currently looking like it's nowhere near finished but i'm taking my time and also trying to find really good deals so i'm not just spending an astronomical amount on my apartment 
because I'm like, I'm renting. But fun thing happened. So my first payment for this place had to be a check. And thank God I have the receipt for that check. And I have the email from the property manager being like, you can't get keys unless you provide the check on move in. They misplaced my check. When I tell you I was fuming, I was so upset. So I'm waiting to hear back because right now on like my record, it's showing that I have a late payment and I'm being charged a late fee. And I'm just like, it wasn't late. It was like y'all misplaced it. And I have proof from the email and I also have the receipt for the check. So yeah, I'm kind of just like really hoping this works out. And I know I have to put it in God's hands, but I'm also like having a really, this past week was mentally just really hard. And I'm still not out of the woods yet. So I'm very unmotivated. I'm not productive, but I'm very unmotivated and I'm not being productive, but I'm going to try to be productive tonight and work for two hours and get stuff done because I have a lot of deadlines. I have a lot of deadlines for work that need to be finished and I can't mess around. So that is the update. <laughs> hey y'all, uh, new day, new me. <laughs> That's a new day, same me. Uh, <laughs> basically it's 10 o'clock. It's 22.14, so it's 10.14, and I have some updates. I'm going to share with you what everything kind of looks like in my bedroom specifically, because that is where majority of the updates are. I'm waiting on one piece of, like, small furniture. It's the spare part from Ikea, because I still haven't seen it come in, and then I can, like, put my books away, finally, in the living room. That would be so nice, and then maybe I can show you the living room. But I'm also thinking of reconfiguring the living room and maybe putting my desk behind my couch. I randomly saw into another apartment and they had that set up and I was like, that's really smart. Cause the living room is kind of big and I feel like the TV is just a little bit too far from the couch. And I'm like, if I can move the couch up a little bit and put my desk behind the couch, that would be so smart so yeah i think that would be i think that would be really nice but tomorrow is a busy day i'm actually grabbing coffee and uh i mean i'm not gonna have coffee i can't have caffeine mostly likely gonna have some tea not even a matcha or a chai because i've had a lot of caffeine this week um and acidic things and i just need to stay away from the acidity anyways I need to get drawer organizers for my dresser. I got a dresser, so I guess that's like a little surprise, but you'll see tomorrow. Um, I need to get drawer organizers. I measured everything, so I know exactly the kind of sizes that I need. I also want to get a basket uh, for one of the sections for my side table that I got from Ikea. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get a basket that kind of fits this Ikea side table that is coincidentally from Ikea and then I need a drying rack with some clothespins because I just know I should save money on not using the dryer as much because of electricity and also I just know it's like better for the longevity of my clothes if I hang dry them and not put them in the dryer and then also I need to get some notebooks from Barnes and Nobles and also make sure I don't spend money in Barnes and Nobles. That's probably going to be the hardest part tomorrow. And then I also need to go to Walmart and get a magnetic fridge calendar because I just feel like that would be great. So I'm buying a lot of like organizational things that I think will be great. Um, yeah, 
Also, I had a conversation with my grandma today about her creating a medical notebook for me to just know like what procedures that she's had done, what things she's allergic to in terms of medication um, and the kind of medications that she's taking and the doses, the dosage of medication that she's taking on a daily basis um, and who her doctors are and stuff like that and where her pharmacies are. And when I had that conversation with her, I realized I need to do that as well and like have it written down. I think it's like great to have things like on your computer and stuff like that. I had a recent weird situation happen with the passwords on my phone. I guess my dryer's done. That scared me so much. Um, I need to turn that siren thing off, that alarm thing off, because it scares me each time it happens. But I realized when having that conversation with her, I need to also do that in turn because say I have a family member or friend who just happens to be there when something happens with me, um, or if something happens, not when, but if something happens, it would be just really nice for them because maybe they don't have access to medical stuff because they're not a POA, a power of attorney for me, but they can be like, hey, she wrote all of this medical stuff down here is this notebook of where her pharmacies are, who her doctors are, what she's had done, what allergies she has, what medication she cannot take, what medication she is taking, and the dosage of that medication. Um, I just think it's like a lot better to do it that I think it's just more proactive to be that way because then you're not in a situation where you're like being super reactive and you're not calm. Because when someone's like having to go into the hospital or getting a medical procedure done, it's just really great for the patient who's having to undergo a lot of stuff that everyone else is calm and not causing them stress. Because you don't want to be the cause of stress. So I had that conversation with my grandma. It went really, really well because I was just like, you know, I know I'm going to have to take care of her, not have to. I know I'm going to get to take care of her uh, as she gets older and she's not going to be young and super coherent forever and it would be nice to just make sure that like the entire process is easy and as painless and stress-free as possible um, all around for everyone involved and it's like maybe we forget to make me a power of attorney or maybe she doesn't want a power of attorney but at least i can just say like i can really try to advocate for her and um provide like treatment that's actually going to be beneficial say if we're in a different country and they don't have access to like the u.s doctors or civilian doctors that we're using so yeah anyways i'm gonna take you on my uh trips tomorrow of what I'm gonna buy for this apartment I'm just getting really organized but my apartment is still in chaos and so I need to get organized so I'll talk to you tomorrow and I'll take you along for all the shopping that is gonna commence alright so <clears throat> I'm actually very anxious right now, so just saying that. I also realized that my SIM card um, is going to be full very soon, so there's that. But I went to Walmart, they didn't have what I needed. The one that I saw online actually, actually like wasn't magnetized to the fridge so i'm just gonna go on amazon and get it i needed lunch so i went to mcdonald's but i'm at ikea now you can probably see the building behind me and i'm gonna get these 
um, things that are on my list that I shared with y'all last night. So I'm just going to finish eating in my car. And try to continue to do deep breaths because I've just been anxious um, this past week. And the week before I was coming off of a depressive episode, so... Mentally, it's a struggle bus, but it's okay. She's going to find a therapist soon. All right, I have a pimple patch on my head because I have a pimple, but an exciting package came in. I washed it and now my room is looking more and more complete, but I thought I would show you. Look at my bed. Oh my gosh. And the quality is exceptional. And then I got like the matching flat sheet and fitted sheet. Um, so yeah, it looks like, like charcoal gray with this like mustard and then, you know, baby pink. It's not like bright, bright, but like how it looks on camera is pretty much how it looks in real life. Honestly, um, it looks really good. But I went back to the Try Tested and True Brooklinen. I've had them in the past. I still have my previous uh, sheet bundle set that I got from them. But that's more of like a summer, more summer colors because it's lighter and it's white. And I'd rather do that in the summer and just have like more darker, moodier, but still kind of bright vibe in my bedroom. So I went back with Brooklinen and I bought like this foam top. Uh, it's like a two inch thick thing that you put on. It's a mattress topper. It's a foam two inch uh, mattress topper that I got off Amazon because one of the Airbnbs that I stayed at a few years ago, I think it was in Loveland, Colorado, they had the most comfortable bed. And I asked her, I was like, what do you put on your bed? Because my grandma and I had the best sleep of our life. And she sent me the Amazon link of everything that she got. And I like had it favorited and then I was like I'm gonna put this on my bed eventually um, I'm thinking about getting a new mattress because my mattress is due to be upgraded but yeah I wanted to kind of like show what my room is looking like and I am freaking obsessed you can kind of see it oh my gosh it looks really really good I really love the colors I think I might get like a throw um, to just kind of go at the end of the bed and then it'll be complete and then I'm thinking of getting like a rug to kind of go in front of my dresser I was thinking of doing a runner but I was like you know what I, might sh I should do something fun so yeah that is in and my grandma's currently in the living room but I still need to get like side tables and then once I get my side tables then I will finish the moving vlogs and then we'll just kind of resume regular stuff but i'm so behind y'all and i'm so sorry i've just been so busy it's honestly just been very very hectic in my life uh with how much i have going on with work specifically like i'm so busy with work it's never ending and i don't think it is so i truly have to just like make time to do stuff but anyways i'm gonna enjoy my little break right now um and watch a korean drama because i just i'm prioritizing time for myself and me time and that is key and that is important and then i'm gonna you know figure out my schedule and kind of be a little bit more just structured with being on top of things in all aspects of life because i've really fallen off the ball but work has been insane so I'm giving myself the excuse of when I do have free time, just truly take it for yourself to do what you want to do, which is watch Korean dramas. Anyways, I'm going to check in with y'all later. 
Um, hopefully the next time I see you, I will be getting my side tables for my living room and then the moving box will be concluded and we shall be done. Man, I was looking back on like the first uh, clips of like me starting this moving vlog and it was a little stressful, I'm not gonna lie. But now that I'm like in it, you know, it's a lot better. Knowing what I know now, I had to go through that journey, but it was, it was good lessons that I definitely learned along the way. But I will chat with y'all later from me and my pimple badge. Y'all, <clears throat> it's the last of the moving vlogs because my side tables just came in. I'm gonna show y'all the boxes. It's, my apartment is very messy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh. But just so y'all see, there's like four, there's another box here. I am going to unbox these and get my side tables ready and then my apartment is done. I'm so excited. All right, this is the final view of my living room. I'm obsessed. I really love the way that it came out. I'll show you the side tables. So this is what the side table looks like. This little cylinder moment with my vintage um, lamps that I got. And it's storage inside so that wooden lid can come up and provide me some nice storage. But yeah, I just needed something to elevate the lights in here. I have my weighted blanket on the couch because I predominantly use my weighted blanket there when I'm watching TV. But y'all, my living room is done. I am obsessed with how it looks. It looks so good. And with that, the moving vlogs are officially done. Um, yeah, my place is a lot cleaner like I did my dishes. <laughs> I had a lot of dishes. I had a lot of dishes that just weren't done. This past week was kind of crazy, so I just didn't have time. Do I have? Uh, this past week was kind of crazy, so I just didn't have time to do a lot because I went into the office several times. I had a company meeting. Um, yeah, some on site stuff. Like, I just had a lot of on site work this past week. So it was very much like dash and go. And by the time I'd get home, I'd be really tired. But yeah, the side tables came in. They look amazing. And I'm really, really excited for how it turned out. So I'm officially done. Like y'all saw my bedroom. Um, the new bedding is like incredible. My bed is not made right now, so I'm not gonna show that, but. <laughs> It's uh, the colors that I chose are really great. I like the charcoal gray comforter, like this mustard sheet set along with pillowcases and then two like pinky, like mauvey pink um, pillowcases as well. And I think I'm gonna just get like a throw to go over it. I mean, I kind of technically do have a blanket that would work but it's too heavy um and i like to use my blankets for my living room because my com my duvet has like two inserts in it from ikea and that keeps me warm enough but anyways if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching um if you liked any part of this video please do give it a thumbs up subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i'm doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and yeah i will see y'all in the next one don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i'll see you in the next one bye